everything is okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to be that crazy person that talks to myself until people show up. Okay, I ordered all the stuff. Hi! It's going. I've got all this stuff to start my soap business and I kind of forgot most of what I ordered. So, we're all going to go on an adventure together today. Uh, I already opened this. It is eight pounds of soy wax because I didn't come here to mess around. And let's see. Shipping department. That's specific. So... So Oh, soap, not silk, but bath soap and candles. And we have molds. ordered two of these. Oh, apparently I ordered four of these. I thought they would make good, probably like 
small candles? Maybe, probably so. Maybe not the candles. Cause they're kind of small. And my roommates don't listen when I talk. Give me a second here. is from El Monte, California. Feels like more molds. Yes, point the sharp object towards your face. That's, that's exactly how all of this works ever. YouTube whose name's escaped me right now. Royalty Soaps. I watched a bunch of Royalty Soaps on YouTube and now I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing and you all get to watch it happen. We'll see how it goes. This one, Two Wild Bears, is apparently where I ordered this one from. These three, I believe, were all Etsy shops. Ooh. These are fun. These are my little... These are for, like, bar soap. We got the swirly molds inside. Two of those. This one's this one's probably embeds embed molds because it's very very small. So I don't know. I figured it was something to do. It might go well. Oh, this one is from Moldify, who was an Etsy shop. This one's definitely for uh, Inbeds. Gave me a little card. And a peppermint. Yeah. supposed to be it looks like the back of a cat and paws and hippos hippos and then lions more lucky cats bears maybe that's just a cow and then more lions so this will be good for like teeny tiny embeds for when I start making the bigger block soaps. And let's see. I think that's all of the... Oh, nope, that's not all the bags. I got one more bag. It is my 
Georgia Peach Fragrance from Virginia Candle Supply. And ordering all this stuff offline, I don't actually know how most of it smells. Ooh. I could smell it through the little plasticky thingy. So we'll just leave that on for right now. Adamsboro Sundries was probably also an Etsy store. Everything so far has been Etsy. The, uh... The soy wax was not Etsy. That I got from a place called Bulk Apothecary. Because why wouldn't I get something from a place called Bulk Apothecary? And they made very sure. Adamsboro Sundries made very sure that this box was not going to come undone in the mail. fragrance. I'm just gonna not put that directly on my pocket. Then we have the place for candles, which was another Etsy shop. to weigh out the ingredients and a hot plate because I don't want to do this on the stove. I want to be able to stream it so people can watch. Ooh, stuff. And then to kind of do my best about recycling, I'm going to basically use stuff that things came packaged in and reuse it when I have to mail stuff out because I figure that's at least a little eco-friendly. I'm gonna hopefully have a chance to buy um, recyclable stuff or uh, biodegradable stuff once this takes off. And this is my little melting pot. I think it does up to a pound, it said. Was it only half a pound? I probably don't need to do more than a half a pound at once anyway, just to be safe. While well, I'm just learning, and because I didn't really get anything super huge that's going to use that much at once. Okay. This is, ooh, this is my Mad Micah's box. This one's the pretty one. Sorry about that one. 
Ooh, I got a little thank you gift. We'll open that after we do all the colors. This one's bright yellow raincoat. I may or may not have bought it because it made me think of uh, Georgie from It. We're not going to talk about it. Or we can talk about it, I guess. Because I'm that kind of weirdo. Uh, let's see. Hot pants, which is a glittery pink. Kind of glittery. More than kind of glittery. This is going to... This is gonna ruin some people's day. It's pretty glittery. And I did check uh, when I bought this, all of Mad Micah's, Micah's are ethically sourced. So no, uh, no like child labor. And this one is called Crazy Eyes, which I thought was funny because it's kind of green like my eyes, which is telling. Then we have Harold's Purple Crayon. Very pretty. I bought a lot of mica. This one, actively, um, not even a low-key reference. Very bronzy. It is called Red Rum and got it, I got it for exactly the reasons you would think after my uh, Georgie comment is absolutely a shining reference. And then Steelworks. So they haven't come in yet, but I actually ordered a um, axe molds, axe shaped molds, not actually axes, obviously. So that will be for the head of those molds when I get them. That's just my recipient. receipt. I'm a weirdo. This one's called Magic Beans. And it's kind of a brown. I think this is, this might be what I got for the handle of the axes. I thought I got a different one though, so I could be wrong. But yeah, Magic Beans, very pretty. And, ooh, Peacock. I really like Peacock. It's very blue. I'm very happy with that one. And then Pumpkin Head, which is an orange that I'm really happy about. my Mad Micah's, or no, sorry, this is my Brambleberry box. This has some good stuff. In it. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to open Mad Micah's thank you gift. That would have been terrible. Ooh. They sent me some Laffy Taffy. Then a little card. sent me a little baggie of titanium dioxide, which I think, I think this is what you use to balance out one of the, um, what is it? There's certain, there's certain wax or something that you need this. It can also just be used as a white, but it's to, oh, I think it's vanilla that, um, for some reason it always, changes the color so i think titanium dioxide might help with that it might just be white i might be crazy i know vanilla is one of the things that causes vanilla scent extract for some reason seems to tamper with soap from what i understand i don't know if it also does it with candles 
So that was very nice of them. I put that with the rest of the colors in my Laffy Taffy. Okay, now, the Brambleberry box. There's liquidy, oh, that's because I bought a bunch of scents in here. I'm like, why is there liquidy sounds? Because I bought a bunch of fragrance from Brambleberry. That's why there's liquidy sounds. I'm just a dork. Don't mind me. making sure stuff does not break, which I appreciate. Brambleberry. This one is called Relaxing. Ooh. And again, ordering online, I'm kind of rolling the dice with how any of this smells and all that good stuff, so. appreciate them and their desire to not let stuff leak. Hi, whoever just joined. Ooh. That smells really good. Definitely gonna use that in something. Well, hopefully I'm gonna use everything in something since I bought it all. This one's sandalwood vanilla. There's a little pull. I bet there was a little pull on the other one before I took scissors to it and did things the hard way. But here we are. That's me doing things the hard way. Ooh. I like that one too. That one's really, really heavy on the sandalwood where this one, this one kind of smells like vanilla. I don't know, because it doesn't really say what goes in there. It's just called relaxing. And this one's bonfire. smells really woody and like outdoors. Like that. Yeah, they made like little divots and everything in here to make sure stuff didn't move around too much. Here's hickory and suede. Not my favorite, but ooh, I'm gonna save that one. This one's, I'm sure someone will like it, but it's uh, it's tobacco and bay leaf, so it's not necessarily one I personally am excited about. I'm gonna smell it anyway. See what I think, maybe it won't be. Yeah, I'm not. I'll use it and stuff. I'm sure people will like it. I'm just not a, I don't think it's gonna be top on my list of things I'll ever use. Well, 
let's do pumpkin and brown sugar next, and then we'll do that one last. Yes, lots and lots of smelly goods. I have come prepared to do this. I am not here to mess around. really good. I like that one a lot. It's very, uh, I don't know. It's, I don't know exactly how I'd describe that because it's not really specific scent stuff. And then at the bottom we have the soap bases I'll be using. This is my oatmeal. And I got low sweat white soap base, I got clear, and I got one that's goat's milk. So we'll see how everything ends up going together. Hi, two people that just joined. I kind of already finished unpacking everything. So if anybody has questions, yeah, I think this clear soap's gonna be good. It's just gonna, I just kinda gotta learn stuff now will be the trick. Cause I've, I really have only watched some YouTube videos about how to do this and I'll be kind of winging it from there. But I'm looking forward to it. I think if nothing else, it'll be fun, but I will be opening up an Etsy shop so, and people will hopefully like what I have to sell. I think I'm gonna like this oatmeal. I don't wanna open any of these right this second because I don't want them to get uh, messy. Okay, the other people pretty much failed, so and I'm out of stuff to open. So I think I'm not gonna do it tomorrow cause I know the vice presidential debate is happening and I don't want to distract people from that or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I will do my first video actually trying to make stuff on Thursday since tomorrow is kind of going to be a busy day, at least for Americans, presumably people who are going to want to watch the debate whenever, I think that starts at 7 or 8, so I don't want to take away from that. So you can catch me on Thursday and I'll actually start using all of this stuff to make hopefully pretty stuff. I'm going to get packed away. Thank you for watching.